Dr. Paul here. Every once in a while, I bring you just a little bit of information with an extra bonus. So that's what I'm giving you today. I want to highlight, I think I've been over this once before in a video maybe, but what are the key things you need to do, we all need to do, to really optimize our health? And then secondly, I'm going to tell you about a couple summits that I want you to be aware of. They're coming up this month and they're absolutely free to watch if you register ahead of time and watch them as they're going live. So each summit will run for about a week and each day there'll be about a 45 minute to an hour presentation that you can watch anytime during that day and watch it for free. Obviously with these summits, there's an ability to purchase the whole thing. And if that were to happen, full disclosure, I am one of the presenters in both of these summits and so I do get a compensation when a purchase is made. But you don't have to buy a thing. I just want you to know these things are happening. One is the truth about vaccines. I'm presented actually in every single one of those videos. I gave a talk on that particular summit. The Vaccine Friendly Plan was the book I wrote with my co-author Jennifer Margulis. And a lot of the information is in the book, but I go over a lot more uh, throughout that summit. And the link will be in the description of how to register for that. That is a summit with, I think, almost 60 experts who really drill down into the information about vaccine risk and becoming aware of that, not just promoting the benefits. And of course, it's a complicated topic. But the truth about vaccines and the links in the description. The other summit I wanted to tell you about is Dirty Genes. Dr. Ben Lynch, who's a friend and a colleague, has put together, I think, the best set of experts to talk about your genetics. You see, most of us read that, oh, there's a genetic link to this, that, or the other. Cancer, autism, you name it, there's a genetic link, right? But what we're not really being told is that almost all of those links are in the world of epigenetics. And at the summit for Dirty Genes, the link's also in the description, you will learn about the key single nucleotide polymorphisms, in other words, the genetic glitches that most of us have. I'd say chances are you have at least one or more of the glitches that are addressed in this summit, Dirty Genes. And the good news is when you know what your glitches are, what your SNPs are, what your single nucleotide polymorphisms are, there are things you can do. And the really brilliant aspect about this book, Dirty Genes, I've read it cover to cover. I was privy to a proof copy. And Dr. Ben Lynch in this book, and as will be outlined in detail in this summit with multiple experts, outlines the things you can do that will help you not be a victim to your genes. He calls them dirty genes, but basically, we have these little glitches, not by accident necessarily, but evolutionary. Probably there was some benefit to having a particular change. And in today's toxic world, that no longer is the case. So look in the description for a link to the Dirty Gene Summit and also for the Truth About Vaccine Summit. Now, also listed in the Dirty Gene Summit and in his book, Dr. Ben Lynch's book, Dirty Genes, I'm gonna to touch on what I think are the most important health things, the things, changes you can make in your life that will optimize your health. I've talked about these before, but number one, eat real food, organic. We're talking, think about hunter gatherers. You're gonna either hunt for the meat or fish, or you're gonna dig up a root, or you're gonna gather fruit from the trees. Vegetables are okay. Actually, vegetables are amazing. So fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, um, fish, meat, the more organic and free range, the better. So real food, we are all vitamin D deficient. You need to take a supplement. To get enough sunlight, to make enough vitamin D, you're gonna increase your cancer risk from all that sunlight to such an extent that it's just not worth the trade-off. So take a vitamin D supplement. I take at least 5,000 international units a day as an adult. That is a safe level of intake for just about anybody. If you take that much or more, get your level checked once in a while, just make sure. See if you're in that optimal range of 50 to 80 nanograms per deciliter. So eat real food, take vitamin D, perhaps the most neglected risk that we can avoid is stress. Stress. 
I went to my doctor who told me, you're stressed out. And I'm going, no, I'm loving my life. I am a high energy go-getter, got a bunch of things going on, right? Balls in the air, plates spinning, however you want to put it. And this doctor says, no, when do you take a day off? Oh, I'm off almost every weekend. No, you're not, she says. Do you turn off your computer? Do you disconnect from social media? Do you not check your cell phone? I was guilty on all those things. I'm always doing things. So we're wired as animals to scan for danger. And the cell phone goes off. It's like, oh, oh, it's just my wife or my kid. Or, or, but there's a momentary hormone, stress hormone release, fight or flight, danger signals. And when you get these constantly, you don't get that quiet time, like sitting in a garden or walking in a forest. Or in, in my case, riding a motorcycle on a nice day and just, you know, oh, peaceful relaxation. Do what you can to reduce stress. You might need to turn off the news, stop video gaming if that's your thing, or at least significantly reduce it, and just find ways to be connected in a peaceful, calm way with your world. So we're gonna eat real food, take your vitamin D supplement, and do everything in your power to reduce stress. Sleep is important, it's restorative. Try going a few days without it and see how you function. Most of us need seven to eight hours of sleep and a lot of us are not getting uninterrupted sleep for various reasons. Perhaps you're obstructing, maybe you have a bad mattress, maybe you have to get up and go to the bathroom if you're older or pregnant or whatever. Do everything in your power to get better quality sleep. For most people, it means cutting out the caffeine earlier in the day if you're a caffeine drinker and having a very dark room, cold enough that you wanna get under those covers and just bundle up. There are sleep aids that are natural that you can take if needed, if you're having a trouble initiating sleep onset. And uh, oftentimes it's not good to exercise vigorously right before sleep. Those are just a few tips. Eat real food, take your vitamin D, do everything in your power to reduce stress and get more quality sleep. Exercise. I was starting to feel sluggish and lo and behold, I get reconnected with CrossFit and my energy is just through the roof. So get your exercise, doesn't matter what it is, the best exercise is the exercise you'll do. So there you go. We're gonna eat real food, organic if possible, get our vitamin D, reduce stress, get better sleep and exercise. Add exercise, a little more exercise if you haven't been doing much. And then a couple last things, one is biome. We wanna heal the gut because as the gut goes, so goes our immune system. And when we have a healthy gut with diversity of healthy organisms, we get these from eating fermented foods like yogurt, kimchi, uh, kombucha. There are lots of natural fermented foods or taking probiotics or both and work on that healthy gut. Taking a lot of antibiotics does the opposite, destroys our gut flora. So healthy biome, we got real food, vitamin D, we're reducing stress, we're getting better sleep, we're exercising, we're fixing our gut, and then finally, and then I'm done with my health tips for today, live in an intentional, connected world with people who are uplifting. We're animal kingdom creatures, folks. That means we live in community, and when we isolate, that's not healthy. It's not healthy as we need to be connected with others in a supportive, nurturing environment. I would add one last tip. Do everything in your power to avoid toxins, right? The biggest toxins come in our food, in our water, in our air, and in our vaccines. If you're injecting things that have toxins, it's a main line of toxins. So that's my tip for today. Remember to check out these summits. They're in the uh, description below. Uh, the Truth About Vaccine and Dirty Genes, two of the best summits I, I really believe that you can attend and they're absolutely free if you sign up and watch them as they're rolling out coming up here in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.